Ikena was a young boy who loved exploring the busy streets of Lagos. The city was always alive, with cars honking, people shouting, and the sun shining brightly. His father was a journalist, a man who wrote stories about the things happening around the city. Ikena admired him and dreamed of becoming a journalist too. One day, Ikena's father told him he had a new assignment. He was going to write about the river that ran through the city. The river is the heart of Lagos, his father said. It has stories that go back hundreds of years. Some people even say the river god still watches over it. Ikena was curious. Does the river god really exist, he asked. His father smiled. It's just a story, but some people believe it. Later that day, Ikena decided to visit the river himself. It was a long walk, but when he arrived, the sight was breathtaking. The water sparkled under the sun, and birds flew above, singing their songs. But something felt strange to Ikena. He stood there, staring at the water, and for a moment, he thought he heard a whisper. It was soft, like the wind, but clear enough for him to hear. Come closer, the voice said. Ikena's heart pounded in his chest. He looked around, but no one else was there. Who's there? he asked, his voice shaky. Come closer, the voice repeated. Against his better judgment, Ikena stepped closer to the water's edge. As he did, the voice grew louder. Ikena. I need your help. Ikena froze. How did the voice know his name? He wanted to run, but something kept him there, staring into the water. The river seemed to come alive, swirling and bubbling as if something was moving beneath the surface. Suddenly, a figure appeared in the water. It was a glowing, shimmering form, like a person made of light. Ikena couldn't take his eyes off it. The figure looked at him with deep, sad eyes. I am the river god, the figure said softly. I have watched over this river for many years, but something terrible is about to happen. You must help me stop it. Ikena couldn't believe what he was hearing. Me? How can I help you? The river god's eyes seemed to glow brighter. There is a group of people who want to harm the river. They plan to dump poison into the water, and it will destroy everything, the fish, the plants, even the people who drink from it. You must stop them. Ikena's mind raced. He was just a boy, how could he stop something so terrible? But the river god's voice was full of desperation. I. I'll try, Ikena whispered. The river god nodded. Be careful. They are dangerous. But remember, I will be with you. Follow the echoes of the river. The glowing figure began to fade, and soon, Ikena was left standing alone by the water, his heart still racing. He didn't know what to do, but he knew he had to try. The next morning, Ikena went to his father's office. He overheard him talking on the phone with someone. There's something strange going on near the river, his father said. I've heard rumors that a group of people is planning something bad. I'm going to investigate. Ikena's eyes widened. This was it, the river god had warned him. He had to do something before it was too late. After his father left for work, Ikena grabbed his notebook and a pen. He decided to visit the river again, hoping to find more clues. When he arrived, the air felt different, thick and heavy, like something bad was about to happen. He stood by the water, waiting for the river god to speak again. But there was only silence. Frustrated, Ikena started walking along the riverbank, his eyes scanning the area for anything unusual. After a few minutes, he saw something that made his heart skip a bit. A group of men stood by the water, talking in hushed voices. They were dressed in dark clothes, and one of them held a large metal container. Ikena's blood ran cold. Could this be the people the river god had warned him about? The men were moving toward the water, carrying the container. Ikena knew he had to stop them, but how? He was just one boy, 
and they were grown men. He crouched behind a tree, watching them closely, his mind racing for a plan. Suddenly, the river began to swell again. The water bubbled and churned, just like it had when Akena first heard the river god's voice. The men stopped in their tracks, looking at the water in confusion. What's going on? One of them muttered. Akena knew this was his chance. Taking a deep breath, he stepped out from behind the tree and shouted, Stop! The men turned toward him, their faces hard and angry. Who are you? One of them demanded. Akena's heart pounded, but he stood his ground. I know what you're doing. You're trying to poison the river. You have to stop. The men exchanged glances, and the leader stepped forward, his eyes narrowing. You're just a kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. Akena clenched his fist. The river god sent me. He knows what you're doing, and he won't let you destroy this place. For a moment, the men looked unsure. Then, the leader sneered. There's no such thing as a river god. You're just making things up. Akena opened his mouth to argue, but before he could speak, the river roared to life. The water surged upward, crashing against the shore with a mighty force. The men stumbled back, their eyes wide with fear. What is that? One of them shouted. Akena stood tall, his voice steady. That's the river god. And he's not happy. The men dropped the container and ran, their shouts echoing in the distance. Akena watched them go, his heart racing. He couldn't believe what had just happened. As the river calmed, Akena felt a soft breeze brush against his face. The voice of the river god whispered in his ear, Thank you, Akena. You have saved the river. Akena smiled, feeling a warmth in his chest. He had done it, he had protected the river, just as the river god had asked. But deep down, Akena knew this wasn't the end. There were still people who wanted to harm the river, and he would have to be ready to face them. He glanced at the water, listening to the soft, gentle ripples. The echoes of the river god were always there, waiting. And Akena knew he would never stop fighting to protect what was important. As the sun set over Lagos, casting a golden glow over the water, Akena turned and headed home. His journey was far from over, but he was ready for whatever came next.